if you're still struggling with reading candlest uh, candlestick or charts, uh, let me wrap up my day with uh, walking you over or uh, summarizing to you what I did using uh, this one technique. Of course, it's not a not a new technique. It's it's uh, it's something that people use every now and then, which is what we call the Aikanashi. Um, uh, candle pattern. So the Aikanashi candle pattern really it's it helps it helps us uh, in so many ways it, because of the benefits uh, being that it smooth it smooth out the signals really well. And uh, if you're wondering, this is a this is a real this is real time. Uh, we're talking about real time here. And uh, here uh, you can see that the chart the time the time is going and I'm trading of course I'm trading a seven minute chart time frame uh, that just seems to work for me somehow for I don't know what reason but that's what I like uh, a lot of people like trading five minutes a lot of other people like trading 15 I mean 10 minutes 15 minutes I like to trade uh, seven minutes just to stay in between so um, what uh, I have here there are three components here uh, the, the first component is this blue big line that you're seeing. This is what I call the opening range breakout, which means the first high and the low of the first candle opening on the, on the day, we, we mark that high and we mark the low. But um, of all things, of all things, we only take trades if price breaks above that level or breaks below that level. In this case for today, price broke uh, right here. Price broke right there. Actually, let me try to paint that. Uh, maybe, maybe red. Yeah, price broke right there, and when that happened, um, we we had a. I would go ahead and enter in that trade, and the reason why I would enter in this trade right away is because, well, first of all, uh, on the candle. Let me go back one one moment. Um, first of all, on this candle right here. Um, this candle, if you're, if you're looking at it, this candle here, this candle is a very powerful candle. Why? Because the candle has no wick. Okay. It has no wick. When you're trading high Kanashi candles, you want this moment where the candles are as powerful as you can see it. Meaning the candle forms without a wick at the bottom for bullish momentum or for bullish trend. Uh, the candle forms without a wick. If you see candles which which contains wick, just wait for those all all of those all of that to clear out, um, and then the ones that form right after it without a wick, that is a clear clear um, uh, powerful move, uh, big, the beginning of a powerful move. So I would enter on this candle and wait on that. But this right here, I think this is corresponding probably to some level, which I don't know what that level is. Um, if we can trace back to the left of our screen, um, maybe it's corresponding. Yeah, it's corresponding probably to this pre-market here, but um, it's also close to this, uh, you know, resistance level on that day. Okay, so which is of course support and resistance level. So it's corresponding to that, I believe. But that was not the whole point. Uh, if you look at today. Uh, let's draw another another area right here. Okay, this is like the daily high of today, right around that. Where I'm corresponding to this, I mean, I'm I'm referring to this point. That's like the daily high, which is corresponding to exactly where that is. So anyhow, with all that aside, um, what I want to what I want to talk about here is that you don't need to be technical enough to be able to uh, to interpret charts or candlesticks. Okay. For you to be able to for you to be able to enter a trade, you just have to use Aikanashi. If you don't know how to do that, in if you're using Trading View as your guide or as your platform for checking out, doing your analysis and back testing, look at the top of your screen where there are those chart type. I would say, uh, where is it? Right here, bar style. Okay, where there are bar styles, scroll down. Look for Aikanashi. I already have it favored. Go ahead and favorite. Click on it, and that will apply to your uh, to your um, apply to your chart. And just so you know, Aikanashi just refers to. Uh, I mean, it's a Japanese word that refers to average bar. Some people would call it average price. So you have that applied to your to your um, to your chart. To enter a trade, wait for a clear 
a clear doji after a clean trend. A clean trend is defined by candles which have been preceding each other without a bottom wick for uh, that. Uh, that's referring to the uptrend. A candles preceding each other without a bottom wick and then followed by a doji. That doji is your, uh, is, your, is your reversal point. The next candle that forms after that should come without a, without a top wick. That means a reversal to the downside. You get that, you stay in the trade. There might be scenarios where you will see those, but in my scenario, I have this hull moving cloud, which is the green and red you know, uh, line there. Uh, that is just kind of helping me stay in the trade. If it closes and uh, if, if, if it pulls back and closes within that, I know for sure, yeah, I have to take an action right, right away. As an, uh, a good example of that is this pullback and closes, well, did not close within, but it pulled back far enough inside that, okay? But also at the same time, it's a doji. Same story here, pulled back all the way within here, okay? And at the same time, it's a doji. So that's just a confirmation to, that, to me that that is um, my exit position. So here I would exit puts, enter calls if I have to make another trade. So you would buy your call right here, see how the next candle form without a wick. It's powerfully beautiful. Uh, the momentum is huge. I mean, by looking at the size of the candles. So you, you, you get in, you take that trade, you stick in the, stick in the trade. Um, until when you encounter where, again, like I said, you build stairs up, you build stairs going up. Um, and by building stairs, I'm referring to this kind of movement, this kind of movement, okay? Just that I cannot draw that clean, but you get what I'm saying, I'm sure. Um, this kind of movement, until you reach to a point where the closing price the closing price at the top of this green candle is almost equal, but also that next candle is exactly a doji, okay? So if you reach to that point where you have candles which are preceding each other, but the closing price is almost the same, uh, that's, that's one thing um, that you have to pay attention to, but uh, it has to be a doji. Because if you're taking any other, that's another thing. Because if you look here, these two candles, the closing is quite close to each other, but they're not, they're not, they're, there's no wick. Okay. There's no wick anywhere. So no wick close to each other, no problem. A wick close to each other, that's a problem. So exit after that. And then wait for another one to form. So you see how this tiny red doji was followed by a red. Um, candle that had no wick, that is strong. That's quite very strong. Okay, that's like a, followed by a hammer. On a regular candle, that would be a hammer. So that all was followed by um, a strong, a little to no wick candle. Okay, and remember this one right here, what I'm pointing at, did not reach the cloud. Okay, did not shoot that high. So that's not a problem. And we would stay on that trade, stay on that trade, stay on that trade. This is a problem. This touch the cloud, you cannot do that. We would exit the position and wait for all this consolidation to clear. Um, in one sense, in one sense, this is already a resistance level, okay? And we know, with how we know that is, if you look at these four candles right here, they are almost, the wicks are almost, you know, very close to each other, meaning, there is some spinning stops right there, but also that's the opening of the day, okay? That was the opening of the day. Um, so it's probably just respecting that. So we would wait for that to clear, wait for this, and then the next one after that um, is when we would enter. But also it was followed by a green doji. That green doji is actually beautiful because that then gave us a strong entry. So you would buy your call right here, okay? Buy your call right here, stay in the trade, and just ride that trend. Uh, we have about a minute and fifty something seconds left. We will not. We will not be waiting to close that hole. We're not going to close that hole. Wait to close that whole candle. We're just going to end the trade or exit the trade, and uh, stick with what we have. 
after all, you don't have to trade the whole of this chart. You just need one, one clear entrance and one clear exit. You just need a piece of pie. For example, if this decides to be my piece of pie, I'll grab this piece of, pie, a piece of pie and run. That's all I need. I don't need everything. I just need a little bit. And this little bit, I just maintain this every day. Okay. If this little bit gives you $100, whichever you get is yours, depending on your size of account. If this one bit gives you $100,000, it's what you have, depending on your capital. If this little bit gives you $500, just stick with it and do this for a month, do this for a month, and do this for a month, do this for a month. I'm saying repeat and repeat and repeat this consistency until you find favor in such a way that you don't have to rely on any other false um, information. Okay, if this helped you, um, you know, just just check me back um, or check my channel down there, and um, you will see some other cool things that I share out that other channel or other people don't you know really talk about that much. But just to help, anyhow, um, have a good day, and just have questions. In the, I mean, have questions, leave them in the comments and I will be happy to get back to you. Bye.